Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. We surrender our hearts to you. We surrender our minds to you. Have your way, Abba Father. Have your way. Have your way. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Thank you, um, Jackson. I don't know, we missed uh, Ben. Um, but but uh, we thank God for all of us to proceed. <coughs> okay, um, so good evening and praise the Lord. Welcome all of us to this prayer meeting. We want to proceed and uh, hear the word of God and to speak to us is none other than Reverend Petronila. So allow me pray for Pastor Petronila and I bring her on board so that she can share with us in the next about 15, 20 minutes and then we will proceed to pray. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We honor you for another opportunity of giving us to listen to your word Lord, as I bring your servant, Reverend Petronila, to speak to us, I pray that you speak with clarity and simplicity to us for transformation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Um, are you able to hear me? Uh, now, Reverend Petronila, please, uh, if you are good and set, Welcome and share with us the word of God, and uh, that will be good and nice. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Bire. Good evening to all of us. Hello. Hello. Hello, Rev. Hello. We can hear you. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah, I was uh, I was thanking Reverend Bire for welcoming me today. Um, I'm a first time visitor, and I know my search for a uh, 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 family altar meeting will come to an end today. I'll maintain the seat. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, I want, I want us to encourage ourselves uh, from the book of uh, Psalm 46. And as even we encourage ourselves, I just wanted to build on the sermon of um, last Sunday, where we were being encouraged by our senior pastor to thrive, to thrive in all seasons. And I just want to drop an encouragement to us today, just um, adding on that, that we need to 
thrive. We need to thrive in this season. I know all of us, we know the season we are in as a nation, as a people, as a church. It is not an easy uh, season. So I wanted us to, I want us to read, I'm going to read from the book of um, Psalm 46, Psalm 46, uh, from verse one, the Bible says, God is our refuge and strength and ever present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way, and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their sagging, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is with, within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day, nations are in uproar, kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice, the earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yeah, my topic today, I have given it uh, the words from Psalm 46, that the Lord was speaking to the sons of Korah, and he said, be still. Be still, be still. That is what the Lord was telling them. And in Psalm 46, verse 11, the Bible says, the Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. The Lord Almighty is with us, and the God of Jacob is our fortress. In spite of all that is happening around us, and more so in our entire nation, what is happening, the Lord is encouraging us today that he is with us. He has never left us. His name is Emmanuel, and Emmanuel uh, means um, the Lord is with us. There is a man called Daniel Levitin, and he's the author of the book of the organized mind, the, the, the book called Organized Mind. And uh, he, there is a subtopic there, thinking straight in the age of information overload. In a sense, Levit, Levitin says, we become addicted to the hyper stimulation, the constant barrage of news and knowledge can dominate our minds. In today's environment of media bombardment, it becomes increasingly difficult to find time to be quiet, to think, and to pray. I know this is a time where 
uh, many people want to know what is happening and how things are proceeding on since when we voted. Um, many people are listening to news. Uh, many of us, we are on social media and, and on different platforms. We are trying to search and to see what is happening. How are things faring on? And this becomes very difficult for us in a time as this to be quiet and to think and even to pray. Uh, recently, I was calling some of my friends whom, whom we pray with and I realized they are, not, um, they are not coming for prayer. And I was just finding out what was happening to them and each of them was telling me that they are very low. They are very low and they are unable even to pray. And I know the reason why they were low is because of what they have gone through. That could be one of the reasons uh, after uh, the voting that we had just done and after the announcement of the results. And uh, another reason could be what they are hearing, what they are hearing uh, through the social media could be worrying them. And uh, uh, could be they are uh, uh, listening uh, to voices here and there, they are unsettled, they, they, they can sit down and even read the word of God and they were growing very weary. And I just took my time to pray for them and to encourage them and to tell them that we need to be on the side of God as believers. And this is what we were, uh, a message that had come to us earlier on in the church, that we need to be on the side of God. There is no way out in this season. We will be quiet. We will think and even pray, or we meditate on the word of God and even pray. There is no way out we will do that when we keep hearing, when we keep listening, when we keep Googling, when we keep uh, calling people here and there. It becomes a lot of noise around us as believers. And Psalm 46, Verse 10 says, be still and know that I am God. That is the encouragement we are receiving from the Lord. And this encouragement can make meaning in our lives if we are on God's side. This encouragement will be meaningful to us if we will be, we will choose to be on God's side. And we will be able to hear these words uh, through the still small voice of the Lord saying, be still and know that I am God. Reminding us of the necessity to take time to focus, to focus on the Lord. Many people find that a quiet time is an essential part of each day, a time to read the Bible, a time to pray, a time, okay, a time to read the Bible and do it, a time to pray and consider the goodness and the greatness of God. It doesn't matter what is going on around us if we will choose to be on God's side side we are going to experience his goodness we are going to experience his greatness we are going to experience his power even in this season and that is what will um, help us to thrive to thrive in this difficult season when we like the writer of Psalm 46 experience the reality that God is our refuge 
and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. The Lord is our refuge and strength, the ever-present help in trouble. And we are being encouraged to put our trust in the Lord and to focus on God. Why? Because he is the only refuge and strength and the only ever present help in time of trouble. And I know many of you will agree with me that uh, we, are experience, we are experiencing some trouble around us, could be in our families or in our church or in our nation or in our individual lives. We could be experiencing um, some kind of trouble, but I want to encourage us today that let us choose to put our trust in the Lord and to be on the side of God because he is indeed a refuge and our strength at this time. Verse one, it drives us, it drives our fear away when we are on the Lord's side, on the Lord's side, when we choose to trust him, all the fears that the world is inflicting on our heart will go away. And verse two, shifts our focus from the world's turmoil to God's peace. If we put our eyes on the Lord, this is going to shift our our focus from the world, the world of turmoil to God's peace. And even he says in um, John 14, 27, that my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, but I freely give to you. We can only find peace in our hearts and in our lives. Peace that will, can never be shaken by the turmoil, the things that are happening around us, the difficulties that we are encountering. We, we can only find this peace in God. And this peace creates a quiet confidence that our Lord is in control. For sure, if we be on the Lord's Side. Our God is going to be in control over our lives as individuals. And once God is in control over our lives, we are going to be still. We are going to find time even to read his word and apply it in our lives at a such a time as this. We are going to continue radiating his glory even in this season, in this tough season, we will radiate the Lord's glory. And someone may ask, how will I radiate the Lord's glory? When we are standing on the Lord's side as a believer, we become the salt and the light of the world. Whatever we speak, whatever comes out of us is going to lift the lives of many people who are down at a such a time as this, uh, because we are going to, um, uh, to, to, to hear what God is speaking. We are going to go in the direction of the Lord. We will find time even to pray, to stand in the gap, and even pray for our nation, pray for our friends, pray for our families. And this is what is going to uh, lift us back to where God wants us to be. No matter how chaotic the world may become around us, we can find quietness and strength in our heavenly Father. We can find love and his power that is going to 
raise us above the things, the challenges, the difficult uh, uh, sit situations that we are in. Because the Lord is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. And I want to encourage us, brethren, that let us put our trust in the Lord. Let us choose to put our confidence in the Lord at a such a time as this, when many people have, have chosen to put their confidence in human beings. They have chosen to put their confidence in their political leaders. They have chosen to put their confidence even in social media and they are buried there. It is a time and an opportunity for us to choose and look to our God, put our confidence in the Lord and be on the side of the Lord and receive from the Lord so that the Lord will give us a fresh message, a fresh word to the dying world. To many people who are down today, we will be a source of encouragement. We will be, we will uh, radiate the light uh, of God even in their lives. And that will be a great uh, achievement to us in this season. And I still ask each one of us, are we going to thrive? Are we going to thrive in this season? And the answer is, Yes, we are going to thrive in this season if we will be on the side of the Lord. Who is saying, be still and know that I am God. And the one who is our refuge and strength, he is ready to show us his love. He is ready to give us the power to move on. Praise the Lord. Each day we need to be still and listen to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God, uh, brethren. Uh, that is the word I wanted to bring to us today, that let us be still and know that the Lord is God in our lives. The fact that we voted, the fact that things have not gone the way we thought they will go, we can still put our confidence in the Lord. And the Lord is going to lift us out of all the mess that we are in, out of the pain and out of the challenges that we are in. Could be it is not even uh, uh, the aftermath of voting, but it is another challenge. Could be it is a sickness or um, um, a, a financial need, the Lord is saying, be still and know that I am God. He can raise us up again as believers. Let us choose to be on the side of the Lord. And for sure, we are going to thrive in this season. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you and we bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for your great love upon our lives and your faithfulness, O Jehovah King. We want to thank you, mighty Redeemer, even for your word. Your word is indeed a lamp unto our feet and a light in our path. Your word is speaking to us, O Jehovah God, even at this season, in this season, your word is speaking to us. Your word is giving us direction. Your word is teaching us to focus on you because you are the only one who can never change. You are the only one who can never betray us. Father, we choose to put our confidence in you. We choose to look to you, Jesus. We pray the Lord you may feed us. 
We pray the Lord you may raise us out of our difficult situations, our challenges, O oh, Jehovah God. Lift us out of our pain. Lift us out of our mourning, Jehovah King of all glory. Lift us out of our sicknesses, everlasting God. Lift us out of our financial needs, O oh, Jehovah, that we choose to put our confidence and our trust in you tonight. I want to pray for my brother, my sister who is over there listening to my voice, seated under my, this voice. I pray the Lord you may stretch forth your mighty hand wherever they are, O Jehovah, stretch forth your mighty hand and strengthen them, O Jehovah God. Raise them up again, everlasting King, according to your word. May you be a refuge to somebody. May you give strength to somebody who is weary, O Jehovah God. May you take away fear from somebody who is so scared, King of all glory. May you comfort even those who are mourning, those who are lonely. I speak your life. I speak strength, O Jehovah. I speak courage, everlasting King. I speak healing in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. As we continue to call on you, everlasting God, may your Holy Spirit penetrate deep in our hearts and raise us up again. We give you glory and we give you honor. That day I pray the Lord may it be well with all of us tonight. We thank you and we worship you. For this is our prayer with thanksgiving, Lord, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Uh, I, I can hand over the meeting back to our senior pastor to continue from there. Thank you, Reverend Petronila, for sharing with us about that powerful word. Um, Muli, you can pick over from there, then I'll come later. Thank you. We can't hear you, Muli, Ben. Um, we can't hear you. Awesome. Then let me invite Alicia, who's next on our program, to take us through the prayers um, as stipulated in our program for some few minutes, and then we will proceed. Alicia, please, if you are on. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, Sophie. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm sitting in. Um, my name is Sophie Simi. I'm sitting in for Alicia, uh, who is on the program. And uh, I would like us to take some few minutes to pray for um, personal and family relationship with God. Uh, that's as stipulated um, from our program. And uh, Oh, we want to pray that the law that, that God will grant us grace to activate our, our family altars. We want also to take time and pray that our hearts won't be swayed away from God. We also want to take some time and pray that our personal walk with God will be pleasing. We also pray that that families will be quickened in their spirit to rebuild prayer altars in our families. We can also, um, last but not least, pray that the people will desire for revival. Pray that the uh, prayer will rise from every individual and family. That pray that the people will desire for revival and that pr uh, pray also that prayer will rise from every individual and family. And um, we, we are doing this from Deuteronomy 11 verse 18 that says, therefore, shall he lay up this word, this my words in your heart and in your soul and by them for a sign upon your hand that they may be as frontlets between your eyes. So let's take some time and just pray for these needs as, as we pray for our family and also as a personal level in relationship with God. Lord, we honor you this 
night. You are our Father. You are our God. Thank you for reminding us through your word this evening that you're the present help in time of need, that we should be still and know that you're God. Thank you for this assurance, oh God. Thank you for this promise, oh God, that you have even uh, re reminded us of this evening. We are blessed to know these words and these promises and we are blessed to be your children. Thank you for even redeeming us and washing us by your precious blood as individuals and even as families, Jehovah God. And this evening, we want to uphold our families to you. We want to uphold ourselves to you as we pray, oh God, that you will grant us grace to activate our prayer altars, oh God, our family altars, oh God, our individual altars, oh God, where our fires have grown cold, Lord, we ask for mercy, we ask for forgiveness. We pray that today the fresh oil of God will rest upon us. We pray that today your fire will rest upon us, that will propagate us to even be able to pray, that Lord, we will be so restless until we, we pray and seek your face as individuals, Oh God, and even as families, Jehovah God, that we will not have rest until we pray together as families. I pray that today you will visit each and every family represented in our church, oh God, where the fires have grown cold, where the love for each other have grown cold. I pray that today, oh God, your spirit is moving in our families, moving in our houses this evening and causing a revival of prayer in our hearts and in our family setups in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, today, even as we continue praying for our families and individuals, we pray, oh God, that our hearts won't be swayed away from God. In this season where so much is happening around about us, I pray that our hearts shall be steadfast for you, Jehovah. I pray that you forgive us where we've been swayed in one way or the other. I pray that today, even as the psalmist prayed in the book of Psalm 51, that you will create in us a clean heart that you renew a right and a steadfast spirit within us, O oh God, that you will not cast us away from your presence, that you will not take your spirit from us, O oh God, and that, Lord, in your wrath, you remember mercy. I pray that today, Jehovah, you'll cleanse us, you'll forgive us, you'll purge us, O oh God, you'll cause our hearts to be drawn again to you, to your word, to your precepts, O oh God, to what you have told us to do and to walk in it, O oh God, that we will be examples as individuals, and even at family levels in the name of Jesus, draw, draw our hearts back to you as families, Jehovah God. Draw our children back to you where they have been swayed away, swayed, swayed away in one, one thing or the other or in different things that are going around the us. I pray that today you will restore us, that you restore the joy of our salvation. We pray also that families will be quickened in the spirit to rebuild family altars. I pray today that Lord quicken us, oh God, where our family, our family altars have grown cold. May you quicken us, may you revive us. May you send your fresh fire, oh God, of revival, even in the family setups in the name of Jesus Christ. We also pray that people will desire for revival, that there will be such a hunger for God, such a hunger for, for living right, oh God, such a hunger to please you, such a hunger for your word. And Lord God Almighty, I pray that today, you raise, oh God, individuals and families that we will hunger and thirst after you, that we will thirst for you, even as your word says, as a dear pants over the water brooks, oh God. May our souls thirst for you. May we hunger for you. May you pour down your spirit, oh God, upon us that we will hunger and thirst for nothing else, not for politics, oh God, not for, 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 for not reading your word, but reading your word, oh God. And Lord God, speaking your word and living your word, oh God, and living to please you, oh God. May we be living sacrifices as individuals and even at family as family levels in the name of Jesus. May you visit our family altars. May you visit our family members today, those that just need healing on, on, on one or the other, those just that need divine intervention, those that need a miracle today. We stand in the gap and pray for them in the name of Jesus. We even pray for the families, oh God, represented in this nation, that they will heal up where there are broken bridges, oh God. I pray that today you restore and repair the hearts that are worn out and, and, and Lord God Almighty, divide it. Today I pray that you would restore even to the praise and to the glory of your name. We thank you and honor you. These things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. Uh, at this point, I'm... can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, so at this point, I want to invite the next person who is going to take us through uh, prayer for the nation. And uh, I want to invite uh, Sister Linda. Linda, if you're if you can hear me, you can just take it up from here. 
take us through that that, that moment for praying uh, for this land. Thank you. Seems like Linda is not here. She has not joined. So I'll invite uh, Elder Jeremiah Lektabai to just take us through that point. Is we dedicate our nation to the Lord. Kindly, Elder. Elder, are you there? Elder Jeremiah. Okay. Sister Lavenda, can you hear me? Could you take us through that particular prayer item as we pray for a nation? Lavenda. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, let us believe and pray for our nation. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before your presence this evening. Uh, we want to thank you so much that, Lord, you have kept us and you have preserved us, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you still remain enthroned even in this season after elections, oh God. We want to thank you, my Father, that Kenya belongs to you, oh God. And that, Lord, indeed, you are aware of all that is uh, going on in Kenya. And, Lord, you, you are going to protect us and guide us. We pray that, Lord, even as we continue to live together, we pray that your unity will prevail among us. And even as a family of believers, we shall stand and, 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 and pray for this country, O oh God, and pray for the people of this nation, O oh God, that, Lord, uh, you may uh, bind us together with codes of love that cannot be broken. Help us to live beyond what we see, beyond what we see with our own physical eyes, we pray, O oh God, that you may help us to look at everything from your perspective, O oh God. We pray that, Lord, you will enable us, O oh Lord, even live beyond uh, uh, our tribes, oh God, live beyond our regions, oh God, but help us, my Father, to, to look at, at each other as brothers and sisters, oh God, who you created us in your own image and likeness, and we pray that you may teach us even to love one another, oh God. Thank you, Father, um, even for the processes that are ongoing with the leadership. We ask for your presence. We ask for your guidance, oh God. We pray for your direction in anyone that is going to make decisions, oh Lord. And, and, and we pray, oh God, that let your will be done, oh God. Many are the desires of, of men, oh God. Many are the plans of our hearts as human beings, oh God. But Lord, we pray tonight that let your will be done, oh Father. We pray that we shall see you, oh King of glory, God, that your light shall shine over Kenya in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. We bless you and we honor you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. Thank you, Lavenda. We are grateful. We are grateful for taking us through that moment. At this moment, I want us to go to the third and the last prayer item in our in our bulletin tonight. And that is just to pray for the church, for the church and salvation. Sorry, yeah, to pray for the church, the body of Christ. Yeah, uh, and Christine Guitar is going to take us through that prayer team. Christine, if you can hear me kindly, go ahead. Yes, praise the Lord. Uh, thank God. Uh, it's always a privilege to just uh, be in, in his presence. And um, we are going to pray for the church. Uh, we will pray that the gospel of the kingdom of God shall be preached to all nations all nations and uh, that we are going to also pray for the, 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 the persecuted church. And uh, the book of Matthew chapter 28 uh, uh, reminds us that we have been commanded to go and, uh, and, and proclaim the word to all nations. And so I am going to pray that uh, God will, will help us, that we will, um, conceive these burdens of, of, of reaching out uh, to, to those ones that are lost. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you, Jehovah God. We give you praise. 
We give you glory. We give you all the adoration, dear Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God. For another chance, Lord, that you've given to us to just be here in your presence, Lord, to listen to your word, O God Almighty, reminding us, Lord, that uh, you will never leave us, you will never forsake us, Jehovah God. The Lord, you give us peace, Lord, that surpasses all understanding, King of all glory. We give you all honor, O God. We give you all praise and all the adoration, dear Lord. Father, Lord, I stand in the gap on behalf of the church, King of all glory. I pray, dear Lord, that Father, as a church king of all glory, you have commanded us, Lord, that we should uh, go out and, 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 and preach your word, Lord, and make disciples, my Father, Lord. How I pray for each and every one of us, dear Lord, that Father, as a church, we will conceive these burdens, dear Lord, and Father, we will take, out, take up this, and Lord, we will reach out to these ones that are lost, everlasting Father. I pray that the gospel of the kingdom of God shall be preached to all nations, Lord, by the power of your Holy Spirit, King of all glory. Because, Lord, it is you who is able to transform lives. It is you who is able to, uh, to, to save, King of all glory. It is you, Lord, who is able to change, dear Lord. And so I pray, dear Father, Lord, that as your word is preached, dear Lord, that you will deliver your people, O God. You will set them free from bondages, dear Lord. The word says, Lord, that uh, the God of this age has blinded the minds of people, Lord, so that they can't see your light, Jehovah God. And Lord, we thank you because it is only you, God, who is able to open up their eyes, dear Lord, that they will be able to see your light, God Almighty, because it is in you, God, that we find joy. It is in you, God, that we obtain our strength, Lord. It is in you that we, we, we obtain the, the peace, Lord, that uh, this world cannot give, O oh God, but the peace, Lord, that only you can give, Jehovah, this peace that surpasses all understanding, Jehovah God. And it is your will, God, that each and every person, Lord, should receive this peace, peace Jehovah. And so, Lord, we stand in the gap, Lord, for these ones that are lost, Jehovah. We pray, God Almighty, that you will reach out to them with your love, Jehovah God. Because, Lord, your love is perfect, O God. Your love is unconditional, O God. My Father, your love uh, uh, that does not depend on what we do, Jehovah God. You loved us, God. Your word says that it is you who chose us, Lord. That it is not us who chose you, but it is you who chose us, King of all glory. And so, Lord, I pray, dear Lord, that, Father, you will choose them, my Father, Lord. That this gospel, Lord, will, will go to everyone, Lord, even to these communities that have not been reached out, dear Lord. That it is going to penetrate in such communities, Lord, in these nations, dear Father, Lord, that have not opened up uh, a door for the gospel, for the good news, Jehovah. I pray that these doors for these nations will be opened up in Jesus' name, O God. Abba, Father, I pray, dear Lord, that nations shall come back to you, Jehovah God. Nations, Lord, shall confess you, Lord, as God everlasting, Father, Lord. We pray, Father, for the persecuted church, King of all glory. My Father, these missionaries, Lord, who are out there, God, preaching your word and, and, and going through uh, so many hardships, King of all glory. I pray and ask God Almighty that, Father, you will empower them, O God. I pray, dear Lord, that you will strengthen them, dear Lord. I pray that each day, Lord, you will fill them with your Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray pray and ask for your protection, King of all glory, that Father, Lord, you will give them boldness, Jehovah, and that you will protect them, O God. And whatever the devil has planned against them, Lord, it shall not prosper in Jesus' name, Jehovah. I pray, dear Lord, that you will be with them, Lord. You will walk with them, Jehovah God. You will give them words to speak, dear Lord. They will never compromise, Jehovah God, but they will stand by your truth, Lord. They will stand by your word, O God, because your word is powerful, O God. Your word is true. Your word is so alive, everlasting Father, and that they will stand with this word, God, that is able to set people free, O Jehovah. Take charge, Lord. Take control, Abba, Father, Lord. We also pray for the church, Lord. We are praying and asking God that you will uh, pour out your Holy Spirit upon the church today, King of all glory. We crave for revival, O oh God. We desire for revival as a church, Jehovah God. And this night, Lord, I pray, Father Redeemer, 
the Lord will cause revival to happen upon the, the, the churches, my Father, in the nation's King of all glory. We pray for an outpouring of your Holy Spirit upon the church, dear Lord. And Father, because we know when you pour out your Holy Spirit upon us, Lord, we will never live the same again, Lord. But Father, Lord, you we will be guided by him, Lord. We will be empowered by him, O Jehovah God. And so, Lord, we pray and ask God that you will revive the church, Lord. You will revive our spiritual leaders. You will revive the congregation, O God. You will revive us, Lord, that you will start living a, a life, God, that is pleasing to you as a church, Jehovah God. That we won't play religion, dear Lord. But Father, we will live God Almighty in accordance to your will, Lord. We will thirst and crave for holiness, God. We will thirst for, for righteousness, Lord, and you will fill us, Jehovah God, because that is your will, King of all glory. We pray, dear Lord, that Father, we will also live by your truth, Lord. We will live by your word, Abba, Father. We give you glory, Jehovah. We honor you, Father. We magnify you. There is no one like you. For it is in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen. 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 Thank you, Christine. Thank you for taking us through uh, that session of praying for the church in the body of Christ. Yeah, and we believe that tonight God has heard our prayers. We believe that He is a God who hears our prayers and He is a God who is our present help in times of need. We have seen Him before and we will continue to experience His help even in our different uh, areas of our life that we, that we need. Uh, so at this point, I would like to invite uh, everyone to take it up from here as we wind up uh, this session tonight. Rev, kindly take it up. Thank you, Ben, for excellent moderation. Um, thank you also, Wanga, for keeping us upbeat for every prayer, every time we are having any prayer on Zoom and on Wednesday. Thank you all our facilitators. 